Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I just maxed out my arrows. The last upgrade to an arrow or bomb is always 10. So yeah, you go you jump straight from 60 to 70 rather than 60, 65, and then 70. And now I'd like to show you something here. What happens if you were to say overspend yourself and uh, choose to upgrade something you can't upgrade? So uh, let's just uh, throw in 50 more rupees, and here's a fairy! <laughs> so uh, you can choose either arrows or bombs at this point, it won't matter. Can't grant any more wishes, but she'll give you a refund, and <laughs> she'll say, hey, uh, yeah, this is the place that uh, hints at the place that you can get the uh, uh, magical boomerang, as well as the fire shield slash red shield. So, yippers! Ho 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 ho! And now, with the power of a bird, I can speed up my travel time tenfold! <laughs> and go over to number three over here, Cook Carico. Um, 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 actually, I can do something on the light world here before I switch back over to the dark world and explore uh, Thieves Town. Well, you know. Village of Outcasts. <laughs> oh, wait, if I went too far down, I'm supposed to go this way. Yes. <clears throat> I still can't do um, anything over here just yet. You know, the, at the Swordsmith, but I will be able to after the next dungeon. So that'll be nice. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to fall down here. And... Oh. Oh, man. So spooky. I'm going to go up. What is this? What is this craziness? Well, if you have the magic powder, which I so happen to do, sprinkle it on there. Oh boy! Hey, bless you for waking me from my deep, dark sleep. I, I mean, thanks a lot, sir. But now I'll get my revenge on you. Get ready for it. Uh, is that okay with you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations! Now you do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day. See you. Uh, uh, uh I don't even know how to make heads or tails of his dialogue. But anyway, he have their magic meter, which means, well, I shouldn't say he have their magic meter. He have their magic meter use. So that means. Uh, stuff that uses magic power will use half as much magic power. Is that not a fantastic upgrade? <clears throat> upgrade? Excuse me. I thought so. Alright, let's move on and transform this place into the Dark World, which means that I gotta go through the Skull Woods once again through that little rigmarole, so excuse me for a second. Oh, And we're back. <laughs> Now that there's a little pathway over here, I can zip right through and see you back at the Village of Outcasts, which is right over here. Now I'm gonna explore this for realsies! Yeah, it's... it's... it's been a while since we've been here, kinda. <laughs> like, since I said I was gonna explore it, at least it feels like that, I don't know why. But anyway, I'm going to go through and check it out. Whatever we can find, I will try and get. <laughs> Actually, I don't... I can't really... Eh. <laughs> Maybe I can get that like a boomerang or something, I don't know. Uh, man, there's a lot of signs saying it's a village of outcasts, isn't there? You know, I don't know why this is here. It's just like a post blocking these two things here or whatever, even on the light world. And it's like... Why? You don't... You rarely, if ever, get anything decent from there. And I've never figured out... What's the point of that little area? <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna rob the thieves here. 300 rupees. <laughs> and yeah, um... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, in the light world, I gotta do something with a Mario portrait as well, so that will be something to do. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe I should've grabbed that heart, but whatever, whatever. Okay, that's a shop. Just a plain old shop. We are okay with that. <laughs> and let's take a look, see around, just zigzagging through the buildings. Oh no! Ah! That's actually how you open the next dungeon. I'm not kidding you. That's, that's the next dungeon. 
<laughs> it's it's so stupid. It, it doesn't look like. <clears throat> I mean, it looks like that it's gonna be some sort of puzzle, but no, you just pull on the door and it opens. <laughs> it's just, oh shoot! I had to jam him in the corner, but whatever. He didn't steal much of anything important, I guess. Mm, zip through here. Zippity doo da day. There really isn't all that much to see here. Uh, wait, I thought I could break walls by doing that. Having only certain walls? Or maybe I'm thinking of a another Zelda game I'm confusing it with? Perhaps? Maybe? Hmm. 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 300 more rupees! I just, did I just made all the rupees back that I used up for the fairy pot? I mean, fairy fountain again! What am I gonna do with all this cash? I don't think there's anything more left to buy in the game. I'm not. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> oh, I want to see what you have to say here. Uh, oh, I haven't seen a normal person in a few hundred years. Let me talk to you for a while. You know the gargoyle statue in the village? People say they could hear a girl calling for help under the statue. Isn't that a strange story? Yes, it is. Uh, okay, <laughs> but he doesn't really hint at. Uh, how to get in there. So yeah, I, I don't really think there's a much of a hint to actually get in the dungeon. It's just pull on the thing and you're in. <laughs> oh, and I like that there's a pond where the bottle salesman used to be. Alright, let's go in. Next dungeon. Here we go. This place is confusing like crazy. <laughs> in all honesty. Alright, so let's see. Let's see what we can do here that will not kill us. Alright, oh, I can actually get that chest from that side. What I'm looking for here in specific is... Oh, not a rabbit beam. Is a bombable wall. Just to, just to take that out of the equation right away. Uh, I guess this is not the place for a bombable wall. Maybe, maybe it's on the other side. Or maybe I'm supposed to flick at the wall a little bit. But in any case, I'm going to go up here and grab this map. And this is what I mean about the, the dungeon being really confusing, um, because there's so many connecting paths and stuff like that. It's very, very tricky to get around here. Although I bet if you knew your way around here, you could get you get in and out of this place within like five, ten minutes and complete it. It's uh, it's it's that simple once you know what to do. But since I kind of forgot what to do, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> but we're going to see how things go, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm yourself there. Oh, what what are you guys doing in here anyway? Like, why? What do you what do you find so inhabitable about this dungeon? There's dangers everywhere. Oh, oh there's the bomb wall that I'm looking for. Uh, I guess I'll go flop up there and explode it a little bit. Actually, isn't there another bomb wall wall? Um, uh, 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 not there, I guess. But yeah, there's there's something at the upper right corner of a room that's bombable that leads to. Something important, let's just put it that way. Uh, wait, maybe this was it that I was thinking of? And eh, let's just explode our way in there. Just explore what we can't now, this isn't it, I guess. But I can uh, destroy these guys from a distance. <laughs> just because. Alright. Uh, I mean, what makes this dungeon so confusing is that there's so many maze-like pathways, as you can tell here, and that that's what's kind of the issue of getting around this place. And why it's so tricky is because even though it looks like that you can go through with relative ease, you actually can't. Sometimes you have to go from room to room in order to actually get anywhere. And I'm actually looking to get to that uh, treasure chest over there, and I took a wrong turn. That is all right. I just have to go up, then right, then down, and then somehow into that alcove. <laughs> somehow. Yeah. Stop it. No. Whoa. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got the fairies still, so we're happy. All is well. And it's going up. And now... Hey there. <laughs> I guess I can get this chest, because this is along this pathway. And then I'll hop down there for the other chests. It's a compass! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh jeez! Rabbit beam out of nowhere. <laughs> And that's why I wanted to go there, it's a big key. So now I got all the major items of the dungeon, but I still need um, a key somewhere. And I forgot where that key is, and that could be a problem. It's probably under a pot. 
Um, knowing this dungeon, so let's pick up some pots and see what are be around. Hold on, I want to see the map here. Yeah, these four rooms are the ones that are the main maze-like rooms, I guess you could say. And then the uh, secondary part of the puzzle is when you get past these rooms, basically. But I want to, you know, explore these this part and then do the rest of the rooms in the uh, next part. Uh, there's an even more complex dungeon than this one, uh, but in a similar fashion a little bit later on, if I'm not mistaken. So that'll be fun. <laughs> and that one I don't know as well as I do this one. I don't even know this that, this one all that well, so yeah. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say I don't know this one all that well. I mean, I didn't know where the compass map and boss key were. It's just a matter of uh, finding the rest of the junk in this place. And uh, there's the entrance. And, 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 oh god, that's right, <laughs> mayday, mayday, I don't want to be helpless for even a second, I can go get, get that chest, I don't think that contains a key, I think it contains like, rupees or something like that, oh god, <laughs> does it contain a key, yeah, it's just rupees, that's what I thought, uh, I guess I do know this dungeon better than I thought I do, Oh. <laughs> uh, still looking. Oh god, <laughs> they're everywhere. They are everywhere. Okay, now this is one of those points that I oh, it didn't dissipate. <laughs> this is one of those points where um, you can't jump off ledges as a rabbit. That's interesting. This is one of those points where you got to figure out how to get to the other side via pathways and whatnot. Yeah. So, here we go, hearts. Uh, okay, so this seems relatively cleared out. Hmm, where is the old key that I'm looking for? Or am I finished here? And why were those enemies flickering? I do not know. <laughs> or maybe I'm supposed to bomb a wall, who knows? Because I know this is the wall that I bombed here, but maybe... No, okay. <laughs> Guess hold on. I need a key, and I need a key badly. Oh, and, and as you can tell, the reason why you gotta get... Um, I should say the reason why you go through here to see stuff is... Yeah, as you can tell, you can't really get to this particular area uh, otherwise, so yeah. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? <laughs> now, now, now. What am I missing? <laughs> Let's explore! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, because I have the boss key. That's the key that I need for this moment in time. It wasn't the small key that I was thinking of. You get the small key later. You get the boss key now. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so yeah, that that's the key that leads. I mean, let's see. That's the door that leads to that other room. Remember with that that I was boxed in and I couldn't move in further? Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. Now I remember. Oh boy, I'm glad I'm not having another Skull Woods scenario here. <laughs> hmm, this is interesting, isn't it? This is the room where the boss is, isn't it? Huh, huh, huh. Hmm, hmm. Well, that's gonna have to wait for the next part because I'm gonna end it off here. <laughs> Watch the end off this part here. So I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next parts when I finish off this dungeon.